The Back Factory Artist Studio in Johannesburg will today, until the 25th of March, be hosting textile artist Sizwe Zama's Soul Exhibition. The project that is curated by Zanele Dibabo uh, under the title What Makes Your Heart Fly is an invitation to celebrate the little things that lead to a sense of fulfillment and emphasizes the importance of making happiness a daily choice and a personal investment. Well, Sizwe Sama joins us on Zoom. Zoom to tell us more about his first solo exhibition. Caesar, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. I mean, tell us more about what makes your heart fly. What is it about? What is the inspiration behind it? Good morning, uh, and thanks for having me. Okay, uh, the title, What Makes Your Heart Fly, uh, basically uh, stems from, you know, me asking myself, you know, what makes me happy, you know, because... Um, I feel like a lot of people uh, put others first, but I feel like uh, we should be a little bit selfish sometimes, uh, take good care of ourselves, be happy first before we can take care of others, and yeah. Mm. Um, unpack a little about that title. You know, um, you could have easily said what makes your heart happy, but you said what makes your heart fly. Talk to us about that title. Okay, um, I view birds as free and happy because they get to fly and they just get to um, go wherever they want by flight. So I just decided to be a little bit metaphorical and dramatic with the title. Mm. Talk to us about the theme of the exhibition, Happiness I Sense is uh, the theme that runs across the exhibition. Um, yeah, um, it's about happiness, man. You know, I think that everyone wants to be happy, but, um, you know, we get distracted by, uh, you know, you know, we, we just get uh, a little distracted by our daily lives and uh, we find ourselves sucked into negativity. Uh, so um, I feel like happiness is something that we should remind ourselves that uh, it is a choice and decision that we make every day. You know, it just doesn't happen. You know, it is a choice. Considering that this is your first solo exhibition, talk to us about working alongside with Zanele as the curator and how um, she got what you were trying to say. Uh, working with Zanele has been amazing. Um, she is uh, smart. You know, she's got a good listening ear. And um, yeah, yeah, I'd like to work with her again in the future. Mm -hmm. Um, now, the exhibition is supported by African Artists Foundation and the National Arts Council. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yes. Um, uh, actually, I was I entered a competition uh, back in December, um, and I'm one of the three winners of uh, the Young and Unnamed um, uh, 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 Exhibition Passeries. So um, uh, it's funded by the African Artists Foundation, and um, they've been amazing. Uh, I'd like to thank them on National TV. Yeah. Mm. What were the highlights of working on this project, your first solo exhibition? What lessons came with working on this project? It was exciting, um, but uh, it was also a learning curve for me. Uh, to create works that uh, gel with each other, to create works that are, um, you know, that adhere to one theme. It was exciting, nerve-wracking, but all in all, just uh, an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, talk to us about, let's rewind back to um, KwaZulu Natal and being self-taught and, you know, uh, going to that local library in Peter Maritzburg. Give us background. Where did it all start for you? Actually, my mom, I get my creativity from my mother. Mm -hmm. So she taught me how to draw, how to sew from a very young age, you know. So um, I always grew up knowing that, you know, um, I want to become a uh, digital uh, artist. So after matric, uh, I didn't have the funds to, you know, go to tertiary school to uh, study arts. So I'd go to my local library and I borrow books on arts, and uh, with my pocket money, I buy art supplies. So that's how I s started uh, teaching myself about making arts. Mm. Yeah. And I want to talk about the 
the decision to use textile in, you know, there are artists that use uh, ceramic and use other materials, but textile is something that you uh, find comfort in. Tell us a little bit about that and why textile speaks to you and what you are trying to say. Actually, um, a while back, I was painting as well, you know, like most artists. Yeah. But um, I found myself unemployed and I couldn't afford um, art supplies. So I thought to myself, what else can I use, you know? Um, I thought my mother taught me how to sew, you know? Why don't I try that to make yeah. art? So I started sewing, 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 and um, I realized that, you know, this is actually cost-effective and fun. And uh, the reception I got was uh, positive. So I just decided to run with it. Mm. And your work celebrates uh, single mothers and the LGBTQI plus community. Tell us a little bit about why that is important to you as an artist. I was raised by a single mother. And I know a lot of people uh, were raised by single mothers around the world as well. So I really, really admire the strength, tenacity, and beauty of single mothers. So that is why I decided that I want to celebrate them in my artworks. Also, uh, I'm a proud gay man, so I want to celebrate that as well. Um, yeah, primarily that is what inspires me. All right. You know, Caesar Sama, good luck with your first solo exhibition. The Bag Factory is a great place. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, that's a textile artist, Caesar Sama. And we've been talking about his first solo exhibition that's opening at the Bag Factory. It's titled, What Makes Your Heart Fly Out at the Bag Factory in Fortsburg.